Alright guys, it's Tom here. Just thought I'd bring you a little fire making guide in preparation for the new fire making quest that's just been announced in the behind the scenes for this month, uh, which will require 90 fire making. So I've just been doing a bit of fire making myself. I've got 91. Kind of want to get 99, but anyway, uh, I thought I'd show you the pile load method of fire making because it is actually quite good XP. Uh, I'll just show you my XP counter for today. You know, <laughs> I've got nearly. Well, I've got 900k XP so far today just using this method. Uh, I'm starting out in Edgeville just to show you this uh, obelisk to renew your summoning points because obviously using this pile load pouch will drain your summoning points so you'll need to come here occasionally to recharge. But anyway, um, the current price on the pile load pouches is they're only 2k so it's not exactly an expensive method and they do last about 45 minutes so I'd say it's definitely worth putting the extra money in for these pouches because you won't need that many really so now I'm just running through the Grand Exchange to the Varrock West Bank because that's where I like to do it right so once you get here you'll just want to use the bank get all this uh, stuff out, logs and a pouch some of your pouch just uh, fill up your inventory and what you'll want to do because since if you, well if you don't know whenever you make a fire you head west so if you look where I'm standing you'll be able to see I've got lots of space to the west so anyway the method it's a little bit hard to get used to but it's not really that hard once you get the hang of it you use a log on the pile load and then light one yourself and it does two at once but if you try and do it too quick you'll just stay in one position now the trick to getting the timing right I found is that if you watch the pile load closely the animation will uh, how do I explain this he'll bob his head a few times and then you light your own fire so I'll just show you. So I'm going to use the log on the pile load. Wait a few seconds. And then I've done it. I'll just I'll do a close up shot of that just so you can get an idea of when to do it. So use the log on him. I'll light my log now. And that's basically it and you just do that for an entire inventory and just keep going. So I'll just do the rest of this inventory just to show you what it looks like when you're doing it it's a little bit click intensive so uh, I've been doing this for about at least five hours today I've, I'm so sad but yeah um, oh God. because there's a lot of people here sometimes you might accidentally click on people and if you find that you're getting your pile load stuck like this just uh, move about a bit until you're at the side of him like this and then just keep going oh, I was a bit late with that but you're not gonna do it perfect 100% of the time you will mess it up it's really hard to maintain for a long period of time but it is it's better the XP than just doing it the normal way and it's it's not that much more expensive to be honest okay so I've done an inventory it didn't really take up that much space and this is the space that you've got to work in is quite wide here so all you need is like four rows I'll just do another one quickly okay now then yeah you just keep going like that you might sometimes find that there's a stray dog that comes around here sometimes it's been bugging me a lot today <laughs> but you'll just need to shoo that away sometimes. But other than that, that's it for this guide. I hope it helps. Um, I will be bringing a guide for this new fire making quest that's coming out since I have all the required stats. I have 90 fire making and I think it was 60 agility and something else as well. But I've got those, so no need to worry. Uh, I think that's it. So I will see you in the next video.